it's big. It's definitely big. You know, my shots haven't necessarily been falling right. as often as I would have liked the last month, probably. But, you know, i just been having the mindset to get in and bring energy on the defensive end and hopefully it'll translate. So last night I hit that first shot, and ever since then it just felt like I was comfortable in the game. What uh, has, has this shooting, shooting woes that you've been going through, have they been a little deflecting to you? A little bit, and, you know, when the shooter goes through a little bit of a slump like that, the worst thing you can do is start thinking about it too frequently. And I think I've been guilty of that a little bit. So the biggest thing is to just not worry about it. You know, keep getting up my shots after practice, and uh, good things will happen. Doug says you, you are a little bit mental in that regard. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be the first to admit it. Sometimes I tend to th overthink it a little bit, but, you know, I've been I've been shooting it my whole life, so I've just got to keep, keep doing that. Avery, uh, the fact that Grant got hurt uh, could expand your role, maybe even a starting role. Uh, what kind of responsibility is that during the year if that happens? Um, it's a big responsibility, and like I said last night, we hope Grant's okay. He's a big part of this team, and uh, he definitely has all of our support. But I just have to stay ready, and, and last night, you know, he, he had to leave the game, and I was ready, so I feel like. I just need to be confident and good things will happen. Yeah, talk about your confidence level. Where is it at now after last night? After last night, it definitely was. Um, it's higher after playing those minutes, hitting some shots, so I'm feeling pretty good. This is kind of an opportunity you've kind of waited for here at Creighton. Talk a little bit about that. I'm definitely... Yeah, coming off the bench. and You know, it's been... Coming off the bench is... Um, I'd say it's... 75% mental, you know, keeping yourself ready to play, and the other 25% is staying ready off the court, and then once you start the game on the bench, you have to stay loose, but a lot of it's staying positive and still working hard on your own time, on your, on my shot, my ball handling, and things like that, so it's just a mindset of being ready. You, you've taken a lot of pride in the fact that you've expanded your role from being known as just basically a shooter to what you can do to help this basketball team in a lot of different ways. I guess now, given the situation, would, would that be even more important? I would say so. I mean, I haven't just been a shooter my whole life. The last few years, I haven't really needed to do other things besides bring positive energy on the defensive end and hit some open shots. But, I mean, I, I definitely think it's important to be able to do more things for this team than just hit some shots on the offensive end. One more. So is Doug really telling you not to shoot that one three? I, I don't know. I caught the ball over there, and I thought it was open, and I heard a couple of guys yelling at me. I'm not sure where from, and then I got hit down. And yeah. so, it, you know, I didn't see him coming. That was probably a good thing. One of the more amazing three-pointers. That's up there, definitely. <laughs> That's definitely up there. All right. All right.